Hey, what's up guys? Nuno here. Today's video will be about camera animation. The video that you just saw on the intro, it's with a camera and held effect. And in today's video, I'll show you the five most important factors that help achieve a realistic result with this effect. So without further ado, let's get started. So in this video, we will do this uh, together, this part, setting up the camera and held effect and all the movement that we need to take. And uh, I opened the scene that it's from Lumen example. And this one, you can even find it on Lumen 10. So you can follow along with the exact same scene. You can just go here to files and under examples, you'll find this residential home. Okay. And on this one, you just open it and, uh, and you can simply follow along. So I just added here a couple of cars and a couple of people to have a little bit more movement in our, in our scene. And so the first thing we're going to do, we'll go to a movie. And here you can see that we already have from this scene, free clips. This comes with uh, with Lumen scene, but we're going to click here on the MC slot here on the bottom and I'm going to click record. And in the beginning of the video, I told you that I'm going to speak about the, the five most important factors to achieve a realistic result with this camera and held effect. And as I said, this camera and held effect can be even to simulate when you are with your smartphone on the street shooting a video. And usually this creates a little bit of shakiness as well, a little bit of randomization. So the first point is the correct focal length. And so let's take as an example, uh, an iPhone 12 and it has the camera the main wide camera has a 26 millimeter lens and you also have a ultra wide 13 millimeter, but this one will distort a lot. So let's focus on this 26 millimeter lens. So this will be the lens that we're going to try to replicate inside Lumion. So here back to Lumion, let's first find the position. So I want to start about here. I'm going to click this button here on the bottom saying set eye level at 1 meter and 60. Okay. And then horizontal eye level. I'm going to click it as well. And now we need to adjust this to 26 millimeters. So we can double click and then press backspace. Now hit 26 and press enter. Okay. So this way now we have the correct number 26. And when we do that, we can click here on the bottom on this uh, empty slot saying add camera keyframe. Okay, now we have a new keyframe. And now let's start simulate this person walking. So to do this, we can simply press the W key and let's press it until here, for example, and add camera keyframe. Now let's play this. Now, if you notice, it doesn't start immediately to, to, to walk. It kind of stops in the beginning and stops in the end. And why is that? We have this ease in smooth and ease out. So we need to make this linear. Okay. So the animation will be all the time at the same speed. So click one and another. So right now it's with the same speed, but right now it doesn't really feel like it's really walking. We're going to adjust this with some uh, extra parameters. So let's stop this. Let's go here to the save clip. And now one thing I forgot to do is to add here a, a render style. So I'm just going to grab from the, from my, my first uh, shot here on the photo mode. I'm going to copy this effect and I'll paste it here. Okay. So this is basically the same effect that you have on the, on the example scene. The only difference is that I, I rotated a little bit the real sky and I added as well the analog color lab. So it creates a little bit already of color grading. So moving on. So the effect that we need to add, it's of course the camera and held. We need to go to add effect and then we'll find here on the camera and held camera. Okay. And right now it changed back to 50 millimeters. We can click here, double click and apply again 26, press enter. All right. And now it's time for my second tip, which is the shake strength. So this shake strength 
it's what's going to simulate when you are walking usually you have these movements a little bit up and down so your phone will do exactly the same movements even nowadays they have this image stabilization but still it will always have a little bit of this shakiness so we can have here on the handheld strength we can increase a little bit this shake strength okay to about here 04 as a starting point and now if we play the speed back okay it's starting to look a little bit more like you are actually walking with a with a camera on your hands and this check strength we are going to add uh, some keyframes to it so we're going to reduce the shakiness depending on the position that we are looking at and the type of movement we are doing so let's go here to edit clip and now so we have already two clips right so I think it's kind of slow the walking so what we can do it's to decrease here this edit clip length let's make it three seconds still too slow 2.4 okay I think three seconds will be good and by the way we have all of these people just walking the same place and the car stopped and just going to quickly add some uh, move effects so it will look better all of this animation when we are playing it here so now we have a little bit more movement in this scene and so let's uh, continue now let's go edit clip so let's add a new clip so now let's just uh, continue to move forward maybe until this point and we can press add keyframe so let's play it okay and now i want to when it uh, starts this area here when it reaches this area i want to him to have a look at this car so let's just uh, make it stop a little bit just walk a little bit slowly and then a keyframe and now comes the factor number three which is timing and in lumion you cannot control exactly the duration of each sequence of these clips so what you need to do you need to add multiple cameras even if it's in the same position or just slightly move for example if you want him to stop here and stare at something you can now click add the frame and maybe you can on the next one move it just a little bit and add another one and this way it will stay stopped for a while on this position and then you can move forward to the next so let's erase these clips uh, and uh, here okay so now let's continue to, to do this and uh, on this next one we can start moving to have a look at the car and add a keyframe so let's have a look how it looks okay so at this point i want him to zoom with a with a phone camera and usually when you are with a phone camera uh, if you zoom in you can use your your fingers like this and usually it will create even more shakiness so let's do something funny here so i want to get in a, another keyframe here and for this one since we're going to zoom in to the maximum let's pretend still that it's a, an iphone 12 and it has a 2.5 zoom camera so it's equivalent to 65 millimeter so we can go until 65 millimeter so let's go back to lumion and let's see if we put 65 how it will look okay so let's leave it at 65 okay and now if you want him to keep just for a second looking at uh, this zoom area we need to add another keyframe here you can just move the camera just a little bit more like this okay so now if we play this you can see that nothing is happening there is no zoom even though we try to create here a zoom with this uh, focal length and this is happening because we need to create this zoom in the camera handheld effect here on this one we need to create keyframes but we will do this after we have all our whole clip our whole path of the of this animation completed because if we create this now and we start adding a lot more clips then these keyframes will move to areas that we don't want so let's first do all the clips and then we move back here and start adding all of these keyframes but before we do that 
One word from today's sponsor. I would like to say a big thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Now more than ever, our internet reliance has been rapidly increasing. From streaming our favorite shows to keeping in touch with our loved ones and even our banking is mostly done online these days. We would like to think our information is safe, but as our online footprint increases, so does our need for proper security. Surfshark is a VPN service that protects your information by encrypting all the data that you send through the internet, keeping anyone unwanted from seeing it. Another great reason to use a VPN is because content from streaming services like Netflix or Disney Plus can be restricted based on what country you're in. With Surfshark, you can solve that problem by simply changing your location. Not only is this good for people who want to keep up with their favorite shows, but it can also be a critical tool for those who live in countries that heavily censor and monitor its citizens. Right now, Surfshark has a really good deal on. By using my link in the description and promo code Nuno Silva, you will get 85% off, which means for something like a couple bucks a month, you can be fully protected. Plus, you will get three months for free. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you try it and you don't like it, you can simply cancel your subscription, get your money back and buy yourself a cheap cup of coffee instead. Okay, so let's go here to Edit Clip. And we see that we have this uh, here. Now we can add a new position where he stops looking to the car and add a new keyframe. Now it starts walking again a little bit. A new keyframe. And maybe he stops for a while here. So let's just add a little bit of walk. So it, it will walk slowly. And after this, it starts walking, I mean, starts looking into the house about here. A keyframe and stays looking into the house a little bit more. Okay, so let's see how it looks. All right, and let's just add one last one where it starts looking back here like this as a new one and then looks over to the sun so we can have like a, a nice transition for the end of the clip. Let's see. And here, another one, because we will zoom into the sun. So, for the final part of the clip. Okay, let's save the clip. And, and by the way, if you would like to learn more about animation, in my Lumion course, I have a whole section just dedicated to Lumion animation. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and in the description below this video. So now, before we start working with keyframes, there is an, another effect that is part of these important factors that make this uh, realistic effect. And uh, it's called motion blur. And so this motion blur, you can find it here on add effect, go to camera and motion blur. And so we can add just a little bit. And uh, if we see on the cars now, let's go back even on the people, you can see that if it doesn't have any motion blur, looks like this. And with some motion blur, about one, it's okay. We can have some motion blur. So every time the camera is moving, you will have this uh, motion blur. And you can see this even in a lot of uh, movies because it's usually shot at 24 frames per second. And so every time the camera does a fast movement, you will see this uh, motion blur. And so since we are used to see things on the screen as video, as movies, we tend to take this as the realistic effect. So let's go back here. And now we can continue to add the keyframes to the camera and held effect. So now here on the camera and held, let's play the clip. So let's say we start at this shake strength. We can actually add a little bit more. Let's see or even a little bit more. Okay, and now here, when it starts looking to the car, okay, it's 
stops, when it stops, we can reduce the shake strength. So here, yeah, it's about here that it stops. So I actually add a new keyframe. And now here, let's reduce the shake strength to about here. And then here we are going to zoom to the car. So let's add a keyframe here for the focal length, new keyframe. And now let's increase to about uh, here. So we give it some time to create a, a zoom and click add new keyframe effect here. And now let's move it at about uh, 65. As we saw before on this article, the iPhone has a 2.5x zoom, which is equivalent to 65 millimeter. So let's try to replicate like we have an iPhone 12. And so it zooms to about here. And while it zooms about here, we can make this shake even more because usually you need to click on the, on the phone to make this zoom. So the, the camera will shake even more. So let's click here, shake strength and then like about here to the middle, let's increase the shake strength to about two. And then here, let's decrease to about uh, here. Let's see how it looks. So you see this uh, effect. It took a, a little bit of time to do the zoom. So we can re remove here and remove here as well. And now let's just reduce a little bit more this timing here. And let's add focal length and again 65. Okay, about here it's fine. And now the shake strength, let's leave it at about here. And now when it's in the middle, it's when it's more. So let's look. Yep. So it makes this uh, little bit of this jump and then stops. Okay. And then continues when you are zoomed, you probably notice that your hands shake a little much more than when you are with a wide angle lens. So we can keep this shake effect here. Okay. And now from this point, we are going to zoom back. So add a keyframe for the focal length and for the shake strength as well. And then to about here, let's another one and let's make it again to 26 millimeters. And here the shake strength, we can now move it back a little bit, but here on the middle, let's add a new one with a, some strength. Okay. So now from this point, we need to add a little bit more shake strength. So let's increase here to about uh, zero 0.9. Let's see. So it starts walking faster. So actually I'm going to increase the shake strength here to about 1.4. Okay, now when he starts looking at the house, let's remove the shake strength about here. So let's remove here to about 0.7. Again, it's stopped. It doesn't need to shake so much the phone. Okay. Now here looking into, into the sun, let's just uh, click here the shake strength for the keyframe and for the focal length. And now here to all the way to the maximum, we are going to click and add 65 and the shake strength increase a little bit. So let's see. Well, actually, I think we can make this zoom before happening before. So let's add here 65. And let's see. Yep. And now let me show you the point number five. 
which is the camera imperfections. And so we already have here on this uh, effect, the chromatic aberrations. And these chromatic aberrations, they create this lens distortion here, this fringe effect that you can see. Usually this happens in the more in the corners of the of the image and uh, can leave it at about for this since it's a video let's leave it at about here about zero one and then you can add a little bit of vignetting because the lens usually have this as well so it's in the corners it stays a little bit darker as well so to about here another one that we can add it's the bloom effect we can add on the camera actually the lens flare and here I'll just increase the bloom amount and a little bit of brightness. Let me just see when it looks into the sun, if it's not too much. Okay, can leave it like this. And so all of these parameters you can still adjust. So if it's, if it's too much, for example, right now here it's too much, but you could still adjust manually because you have access to this keyframing. So I'm just going to leave it at about here. And I'm just going to add the bloom effect just a little bit on top of it. Okay. And that's it for this camera and held effect. So what's most important it, here it's to, to have the correct focal length, to have a little bit of shake strength, the timing, motion blur, and then the camera imperfections. So if you add all of this together, you'll have a realistic effect for this uh, camera handheld. So what do you think of this video? Let me know in the comments below. And I would like to remind you that you can also sign up to my free training, my top 10 secrets to achieve realistic results with your 3D renders. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and click the bell button to get notified every time I publish new videos. And I'll see you in the next one.